Now, this is nine out of 53,000, about one in 6,000 babies. And that was a remarkable um, statement uh, to most people because at that time, phenylketonuria was considered to have a frequency of about one in 25,000, which was the frequency of PKU in institution, primarily in institutions for the mentally retarded. And he was saying that, holy crow, the, the frequency of PKU is a whole lot greater than that or at least it seemed that way. Uh, so he published this in three, uh, art, uh, as a letter to the editor in three different uh, medical journals and attracted a great deal of attention uh, among, particularly among many state uh, 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 public health officials. And within a very short period of time, many other states uh, uh, began to uh, adopt uh, universal newborn screening for PKU. It was clear to Dr. Guthrie and, of course, to Dr. McCready uh, that uh, really two things were still needed to make PK, to make, to allow every single baby in the United States uh, to be uh, identified with PKU in the newborn period for the benefit of, of preventive therapy. Uh, one was that it needed, laws needed to be passed in these states to mandate uh, newborn screening for PKU. Um, despite the fact that some states were, were were beginning to screen for PKU. It still was not universal in some of those states. And in, in other states, uh, PKU screening was still um, uh, resisted. Uh, and uh, Guthrie particularly was very frustrated in convincing those states uh, to, uh, to adopt PKU screening. And so he reasoned that laws absolutely were required to require these states to screen for PKU. Uh, and then, of course, it was very obvious that public health laboratories were needed to screen for PKU. PKU screening would not be universal if it required, if it depended upon uh, individual uh, hospital uh, laboratories. <clears throat> but there were challenges to uh, the public health mandatory approach to newborn screening. Um, some physicians, uh, others said that there was insufficient uh, evidence of benefit from early dietary treatment of PKU. And then there was uh, this uh, bugaboo in, in those days called, quote, socialized medicine. That is that this was the state intruding on the uh, prerogative of the physician uh, to practice private medicine and to make diagnoses themselves. Um, so it wasn't a, a, a clear a picture at all. But within a very few years, it was very, very clear uh, that PKU screening was very effective. Uh, in preventing mental retardation. This is a, a picture of uh, siblings, a, a brother who is, has PKU and who was born uh, before newborn screening and therefore was not diagnosed with PKU until it was too late. And here he is mentally retarded uh, as uh, compared to his uh, uh, normal sister who was identified with PKU and newborn screening and, and treated early with diet. Uh, and pictures like this were repeated uh, over and over again to the point where it was absolutely uh, uh, clear to uh, virtually everybody that the early, that PKU screening in the newborn was effective in preventing mental retardation from PKU.